Welcome back. It's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express, the show where you stand a chance of winning a luxury apartment at Valdivie in the Cape Winelands, valued at more than 3 million rand. It's halfway through the first challenge, and Danilo is standing by with our young design contestants. All right, so it's been one week since our three design contestants were tasked with their first room to complete the guest's bedroom, where hopefully I will be staying. With only four days left to completely finish the room, the pressure is now building. How far have they come? How are they getting along with their mentors? We're joined by our three design contestants, Joanne, Minentle, as well as Rudolf. So Minentle, I want to start with you, dude. How is your relationship with Bell going? She's quite a strict lady. Um, I wouldn't say she's strict. I would just say she's not afraid to share her opinion. I can be bold about it and for me that's a positive because that forms that transparent relationship between the two yeah. of us which leads to us being able to get things done quicker so the decisions get done much more yeah. quicker. So hopefully that's going to work for you. Your sort of like sort of chilled out laid back style with her sort of we need to get things done kind of style will bring something together quite beautifully. Yeah, so that together comes in very well. Good. So you guys are already getting going with your guest bedroom. I know Rudolf, you've already been shopping for flooring and paint. I have, yes, yeah. So my floors are in at the moment. They're looking great. Mm -hmm. I, w I went with the oak flooring, uh, mini mosaic style. So, yeah, I'm quite excited to see how it comes out after I choose the, the final stain. Mm, so a lady's not allowed in there because it's oak flooring, hey? Uh, <laughs> let's get to you, Joanna. You've also gone shopping for your paint and your flooring, but you've already started painting as well. Yes, so yes. are you slightly further than Rudolf is? Uh, I hope so. Mm. <laughs> I chose a, a paint that would fit with the floors because I also have timber flooring and I love the colour that I chose. Okay, so you guys are well on track, all three of you, and I'm looking forward to finding out what's still left to get done because the biggest thing about Winner Home is that you guys have put under inc immense time pressure. And remember the first time we chatted to all three of you, you said you've never worked under this kind of pressure before. You've worked on projects where you had months and months to get things mm. done. Now you've got a very, very short space of time. What's it like working on Val de uh, I mean, man, the first time I got there, it was overwhelming for me because it's a very nice place yeah. with the landscape and stuff. But at the same time, it's very motivating to work in, at such a, a, a huge and luxurious place. So yeah. it's very inspiring for me. And yeah. I hope to take this opportunity with both hands. Awesome, dude. It's yeah. a nice eye-opening experience, I think, yeah. in some ways, for everybody. For you too, Rudolf. Yeah, I just can't wait to get in the outdoors with my mountain bike and, you know, <laughs> and see what, what's out there, but it's, it's amazing. Yeah. I was going to ask, because obviously when we chatted, one of your big passions was mountain biking. That's one of the great offerings at Val de Vie, and they're very yeah. proud of the different tracks that they've got. I think it's like a 30 kilometer or something that yeah, they've got yeah. there. You haven't had time, but I guess. They have so many sports that they offer on, mm. on the estate, so it, it offers uh, something for everyone. Okay. Is there going to be a sporty element, a sort of outdoors element to, to your apartment in the guest bedroom? Well, yeah, there's going to be some touch of, of um, you know, nature. I okay. um, always like to be inspired by nature, so Ooh. let's see. I'm wondering why you're wearing the sort of green route here. I'm just yeah. trying to check whether you are <laughs> trying to match what you're wearing now to your room. And you're not self one eh? Has the experience been interesting for you? Because it, it is a very luxurious estate to find yourself on. And I mean, it take, that comes with a lot of challenges because maybe your creativity is particularly bubbly and fun and friendly, but mm. you have to adapt that to, to the environment itself. How have you found it? So it's very relaxing, Valdivia. I see it as a breakaway type of um, architecture and uh, mm. the whole vibe there. So I, I'm going for the more minimalist, spa, <laughs> relaxing type of look. <laughs> okay, should be yeah. very, very interesting. Yeah. I, I know something that you guys might not know so far. Mark Riley from ARC paid you guys a visit. Okay, and he had a look at what you guys had done while you weren't there. We've got a <laughs> clip of what he had to say about all the different apartments. Take a look. I think Rudolph's doing quite well, also a little bit behind, but I do like the fact that he's concentrated on the floor and he's really given careful consideration to his approach. He's gone for parquet flooring and he's really looked at the detail and I think that's quite special. He's created a very broad border around the edge and then he's kind of softened that with a very small uh, skirting trim, which is lovely. I like the raw finish that he's presented in the room, so I'm not too sure if he's going to stay in it and let's see if he does come up with a stain colour. In terms of the finishes that he's looking at the wall colours, I'm not too sure where he's going with the green and grey. Not my favourite colours, uh, a little bit bright for me, but uh, let's see what he does and uh, hopefully it's uh, going to wow us. 
think uh, Jeanne's room is starting to take shape with the completion sort of looming, I think, there. She's still a little bit behind. But what I have seen is I, I do like that she's chosen a timber floor, that she's also going to be running the, through the whole apartment. So I do like that there's a continuous thread throughout the spaces. And I also like the fact that she's got an accent wall color that she's chosen for her headboard wall. And I think the color is very soft, and I think that's um, quite complementary maybe to who she is. And I think the color works very well with the timber colour and the sort of dusty pink tone is kind of one of the colour trends for this year. Other than wires still sticking out of the wall, nothing much is going on, huh? That's scary. Well, Kelly Manenkele needs to pull a rabbit out of the hat. I think he's way behind and uh, hopefully he's got his planning in order and hopefully he's got a plan of action to, to catch up. But uh, that's how it goes in design. You know? Sometimes uh, planning doesn't work and uh, you then have to burn the midnight oil, you've got to push hard, you've got to get your team organized. At the end of the day, the result is you've got to wow the client. Sure, some pretty interesting stuff coming from Mark there. How do you feel? Uh, well, as you saw, I'm like the one that's mostly behind. But yeah, ho ho hopefully everything's going to come together because I do have things planned out. What are you doing on our couch? Go finish your apartment. You've got lots of stuff to do, my friend. You've got lots of... You're sitting here relaxed, chilling, and I hope the uh, bell will be able to kick your ass and get make sure that you're getting yourself focused and, and moving towards finishing that apartment fast. Yeah, definitely. It's just that, for me, things are going to come in at once. Good. So, yeah. Cool. He's going to blow everyone away. Let's hope that that is the case. Uh, Rudolph, how do you feel about his commentary? You saw that he was a bit unsure of your colour schemes on your walls. Yeah, I think Mark is a really hands-on guy. So, um, yeah, if he, if he doesn't like the colours, that's fine. I, I might not be using those colours in the room after all. So, Ooh. let's see. Okay, so it's not all about him as well. You've got our three judges to, to appease. Absolutely. Let's hope that they like those two. But it's great advice to look at and someone else's external eye to see it. How, how does your mentor feel about the colours? Um, she also had a look. Um, there's one particular one that we, we both like, so we might go with that one. Cool. And yourself, Joanne? So I'm glad he liked the colour that I already chose and it's going on that wall. And Samin also really liked the colour. We chose okay. it together. Good. So it was a very complimentary uh, sort of yeah. out intake of what you had done so far uh, from Mark. So waiting to see what the final product is like because technically you've set the bar up here for yourself now. The final product's got to be better than that. Otherwise, these two are both going to be able to climb climb that ladder towards the end. So yeah. hopefully some competition. Hope you guys will be able to see a little bit of what the others are going for and produce something phenomenal. What's still left for you to do besides everything? <laughs> <laughs> the main thing for me is getting the floor in. Okay. I'm also going for a timber flooring. So that's um, the main thing I'm fo focusing on now. Then every everything else is going to come in. Fall into place. Okay, yeah. we haven't spoken much besides the wall paint and the flooring. Have you got other ideas for this room that are going to blow people away? Uh, yes, I have some elements that I'm going to be applying to make the room look bigger than it okay. is because it's quite very small. Cool. So, Rudolph, you've obviously got to make these colour choices. You've bought the paint. You haven't painted the walls yet. Mm -hmm. What's still left for you to do? Well, besides that, it's also just furniture being delivered on time, um, a few things having to be installed on site. So we'll see. It's going to be a hectic two days, the last two days. I don't know how you guys are going to cope. Sleepless Nights, he says, burn the candle at both ends and just make sure that you... <laughs> what, burn the midnight oil was the right phrase that he used. That's Yourself, Joanne. I still have to do the headboard. That still needs to come against the wall. And then my very interesting cupboard that I've got planned still okay. needs to be figured out and fit it. <laughs> well, they only have four days left to complete their guest bedroom. The pressure is mounting. So make sure you follow Afternoon Express this week to see how it all pans out. Very exciting. And of course, we are honoured and excited to have Winner Home here on Afternoon Express. You'll see the contestants gradually transform three properties at Felderby Estate using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. Judging their work are renowned architects uh, Stefan Antoni and Roselt from Plascon and Simon Bray from Private Property. Now, you could win one of the finished apartments valued at over 3 million rand in the grand prize competition. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za. When a home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. After the break, we're chatting more to our guest for today, iconic actress Tsokun Shingang.